All right, and like I said, we're keeping the party short, and we are back to continue what we started. So, now we gotta go to the... Oh, wind direction's already in the right way, so not bad. Wait. We have a little fishy friend. So here we go. Oh, small fry. Yeah, yeah. I've heard I take it. You want a chart and information about the island? Then start by opening up your sea chart. Just a wee bit north of this island, I have sometimes seen a merchant of incredible girth with a monstrous pack on his back. Now, what could he be doing on that lonely little island? I tell you, there are some strange folk in the world, small fry. Alright. So now to continue on our quest, which I see something shiny out there before I take a hard left. I'm just going to investigate it because why not? And so let's just zoom, zoom here. Good eye. You know, one more time, if we don't get it, we'll move on. And we didn't get it. Okay, you know what? Never mind. Whatever. Whatever. We're going. We're going to our own island, I think. If I remember correctly, that's where the last orb is. So I love the peaceful tranquility of the sea. Now, during these long boat trips, we might speed up the footage a little bit. That way it's not so, you know, hard to sit through. Because, I mean, without this being the HD one, the regular sail instead of the Zora sail, we're, we're going to take some time. Even though we have the wind on our side. We got an island right here. Should we stop? Take a look. Is there a little fishy friend? Or little fishy friends right there? So we can talk to him for a moment. See what this island contains. What's this island? Tell me. So tell me, small fry, have you heard of the golden set of triumph forks? It's right here, I tell you. Chart that shows you where they are in that house. If you want it, you'd better go in there and scour the place floor to ceiling. Oh, really? So we should... We should take a look. At least we owe it that much. Nope. Did I? I went too far. Dorian King, I'll be right back. I just got to do some investigation.
Oh, one, one flying seagull, no, two, two flying seagulls, wait, I see more seagulls, now six, now seven, now eight, this is madness, eight seagulls! Wait, what? What are you looking at, bruh? Do I need a... Oh yeah, out there, I see, okay. Well, dang, okay, not bad. Yeah! Don't touch me with those filthy hands, you mischievous little scamp. Ahem, this cabana belongs to the master, the master alone. You grimy, trespassing little scoundrel, away with you, I say. Okay, be cool, you know, don't have to be so aggro. I guess that was our exploring for right now. But why is there a boat right there? Okay, you know, boat should be down near the water. But I don't judge. King, let's go. Yep. There's nothing on this, so let's take a look. Yep. On our way. So I figure this is how we'll warp. I have nothing to fight this guy with. Or do I? Doing anything? I'm curious. Yeah, we got one. We're being resourceful. Sweet, we got it. I don't know what we get after this. Come on. Just saw. There it is. Come on, we want our treasure. We want to see what we can get from it.
There we go. Don't know what we got, but it seems magnificent. Hey, we got an orange rupee. Sweet. All right, now can we continue on our way? Yes, we can. So I seem to have discovered something right here. So why not take a look? coming out okay Is this like infinite folk? Whoa. Found a training ground for him, I guess. Another one pop out? No, okay, never mind. But still, not bad. Got a few knights crit or the monster necklace off of them. And we got a piece of heart. Okay, that was worth it. Monsterfield summary. Ah! 
So back where we were going? Yes. Directly shape. I need to buy some stuff from a shop or something, otherwise the 200 rubies will just sit there. Nope. We don't need this right now. We're just trying to get by. Well, dang! I'll have to come back here. We're still on our way to the island. Where we can get Nehru's Pearl. I'm just trying to be cool. Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. It doesn't exactly look inviting by any means. Oh, I saw our fishy friend. All right. Look, Link, do you see it? What has happened to this place? What is the meaning of this? The island it is. We are too late. I knew he had precious little time, but I never suspected how little. A great water spirit named Jaboon once lived here, but no sign of him remains. Oh, the leak! So you're here, I've been looking for you. Are you by chance thinking the great spirit Jaboon? I'm sorry to report to you that Jabun can no longer be found here. Just look at how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this too is the work of the Shadow in the Forsaken Fortress. But fear not, Jabun was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He is in a safer abode now. Would you like to guess where that abode may be? On the island where you were born, on Outset. Yet, even if you were to go to Outset now, you would not be able to see Jabun. The cave where he hides is sealed with a mighty stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Why not even the pirates with their mighty ship could get in? I must apologize, Link. I thought if anyone would know of your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told them this tale without so much as a thought for the consequences. I don't know what they hoped to get, but they immediately set sail for Outset Island and tried to break into the cave. It is lucky they could not gain entrance. I have heard that they were last spotted on Windfall Island, but doing what I do not know. If you wish to see Jaboon, I think you'd better search for the pirates in Windfall Island. What an eerie isle this is. Everywhere else boasts clear skies and calm seas, but this place suffers under dark clouds and rain. Baloo must have been right when he asked me to bring you word of Jaboon. He called this island Curse. I would counsel against staying here longer than you have to. But that is your decision. I have told you of Jaboon, so my task is complete. Cool! So Jabun has survived. The sea spirit has lived through the trials of many long years. He must have caught wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. If we are to believe the words 
Then the pirates know something about the cave where Jabun hides. Why don't we go to Windfall and search for them there? All right, let's do it. So Windfall is outside. Fortress. Windfall, right there. So we got to go northeast. We got this. Come on. We have our heading. And if we cross, come across any islands, we will be sure to take note, as it were. We have sharks. We have cyclones too. There's a fish. As always, we gotta throw some bait over. Okay. Holy small fry! Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take you on a chart and information on this island and start by opening your seed chart. Let me tell you a little something about that island over there, small fry. The guy who lived there is named Tingle, but he won't grow up and act his age. He still dresses like a little kid that is not normal. Still, from what I hear, he can decipher maps like nobody's business. It just goes to show you that you can't judge a person on appearance alone, small fry. Alright, not bad. So we found Tingle Island. Oh no. And need to head left. Right there. There's that set. This shark is relentless.
Here we are. It is just as the postman told us the pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing the attention of townsfolk. I know not what they are researching, but if they are hoping to get their hands on Jobun's secret gem, I doubt they would tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. Okay. I'll try and find out without them finding out. I think I remember what to do here. We're close today, now scram now. There we go. That would have been embarrassing if I just jumped, yeeted myself into the ocean. Alright, here we go. We're breaking into a bomb store. It's not our fault that we absolutely gotta have bombs to get the treasure we're after. How about you just think of it as payback for the nasty little monopoly you've been running here, yeah? <laughs> so I bet you're thinking it was foolhardy to ask pirates to pay such an outrageous price, huh? Yep, I bet you are. You know, Gonzo, I still can't get over that bit of fast-talking you pulled to get that information out of the postman. Oh? Oh, oh, oh yeah, that's... that was smooth. I tell you, the minute I set my eyes on that link, I just knew he was hiding something back at outset, yeah? So when I saw the postman, I just pretended like I was all worried about the kid and stuff. And presto, he spills the beans. Good work, Gonzo. Really just top-notch. It's funny, though. I'm thinking this is maybe the first time you've shown such wit, such cunning. You know, with your cunning and Miss Tetra Smarts, if you two get married and had a kid, that kid would be the greatest pirate to ever sail the seas. Yep, the greatest. Oh, yeah. You idiot. Keep your mouth shut, yeah? Don't be so stupid. Miss Tetra, are you listening to this, Nitwit? Can't you dock him some pay or something? Quit goofing off, both of you. Keep your childish jokes to yourselves and get those bombs back to the ship. The second you're done loading them up, we're setting sail for Outset Island. <laughs> what, miss? We have to leave immediately? But it's been so long since we were ashore. We need to fill our bellies with some good eating, yeah? How about we grub tonight and shove off tomorrow morning instead? It's just that the boys were so excited to come to town, yeah? And I can't help but think it would be awful hard on them to leave so soon without a proper layover. So what say we set sail tomorrow, yeah? What do you say, miss? That treasure isn't going anywhere. You're with me, right, boys? Who's for a night of fun? You're all fools. Do you know that? You saw that demolished island. You saw the senseless destruction. We have to hurry to outset, or the same thing could happen there. Huh? Not to be disrespectful, but by the sound of things, you're worried more about that island than the treasure, miss. Don't be ridiculous. I want you. No, the treasure. All right, fine. Have it your way. We can leave town tomorrow, you big babies. But we're setting sail at the first uh, light, so no sleeping in. Understood? Hey! I. I... Say, 
Hey there, brother. What was today's password again? Mikko, are you serious? You forgot already? You're so useless. Today's password is Chumali. Yeah, remember? You know that Nico won't let you in if you don't say it exactly right. And he's real picky about it, so I'll say it once more. Chumali. Chumali. Chimely it is. Yep. Hey, mom guy. Yeah. So, yeah, looks like I can't help you, but anyway. There's a chest over there. And Ooh, dancing post office real quick. One letter. Here's your letter. If you wish to be a true swordsman, find some knight's crest and return to me. Orca. Alright, not bad. At least it's not like Twilight Princess where originally it made you put the um, rubies back if you were full. Ah I misjudged that. Let's try this again. There we go. How do you treat a shark? A shark. Was it a capital C? Or... Right, right, you may enter. Now we can enter here. So if you look around, visions of Triforce, and then picture of the hero. Not bad. Ah! A wink, me old swabby link. So you're alive! All the other pirates said you got done in by that bird monster in the Forsaken Fortress. So I thought, never mind what I thought, you're alive! Oh, I get it now. You came back because you missed me so much. I had no idea you wanted to be me swabby so badly, I see, I see. Well, after you left, I went back to being the bottom rung on the ladder, which is why I'm stuck here while everyone else is in town having fun and eating and stuff. But I guess being so worshipped by my swabby ought to cheer me up. All right, why don't we set you to your next test, huh? This one is harder than the last. Good luck. You'll need it, swabby. This time, there ain't any, which means you have to jump from one rope to the next rope. Pretty tough, huh? Ah! <laughs> and that's not all. This time, I've put a gate on the door, too. The switch opens the gate, but it'll close if you don't get here before time runs out. Run out of time, and you'll have to try it again, little swabby. I like his enthusiasm. <laughs> The switch that opens the gate is in the same place as before, so go step on it. If you get all the way to this side before time runs out, I'll give you the bombs. We got in town. Yeah, you heard me. Give it your best shot, Swabby. 
Alrighty. Give it our best bet, huh? So hit that up. Yep. We want the turn. Boosh! So I missed one, which will probably kill it. Because I don't think I can. Oh, no, I can. on there which he gains extra height mind you <laughs> dang it yep. I need to restart this shiz <laughs> to close it Reopen it. And we're going 110 percent. Yep. See that? Oh, sweet. That worked better than I thought it would. This close, not this close. There we go. <laughs> what? You gotta be, you did it already? You, you're incredible. This isn't good. I've never even passed this test. How could he do it so quickly and make it look so easy? And if I give him this to him, everyone will know for sure. Oh, I'll be so busted. Uh, okay. You're the best swabby of all time, so I guess I'll just give you the bombs. Go on, take them. Just don't tell anyone, okay? I'm serious. Really serious. Okay? Okay. Mindy Cannon, okay. That's mighty courageous of you trying to steal treasure from pirates. Oh lord. I suppose I should be shocked, but I'm more amazed that you managed to survive after being tossed out of that tower. From the look on your face, I have to guess you haven't saved your sister yet, huh? You don't give things much thought, do you? You just rush in, never thinking how badly things could go for you. Like just now, the only reason you did what you did was because we left a simple-minded little rat like Nico behind to look after things. No one else would have parted with our treasure so easily, I assure you. And just how do you intend to use those bombs anyway? Don't tell me you're going after Jaboon's treasure too. Right now Jaboon is hiding in the cave at the back of the island you were born on, but the entrance is blocked by a giant stone doorway. You can't get in without breaking down the door. We're going to relax in town and eat our fill of whatever this town has to offer, but we'll be leaving for outset first thing in the morning. If you manage to find Jaboons tonight, then I guess you win. 
But if you take too long, we'll come sailing right by you tomorrow morning. And believe me, you didn't get all of our bombs. You'd better be quick, kid. Alright, see, so now we just gotta get back to the island we were born on. Bums. Now I just need to make my great escape. Go ah! another letter. Good evening, letters from Link. Here's your letter. Oh, bombs! That'll be nice. Not bad. We got it. Yep. Well done. Our preparations are complete. If that girl of the pirates won't be leaving until morning, we must meet with Japun and get the pearl from him before they arrive. Let us delay no longer, Link. Okay, let's look. Wind direction to be where we are. So there. Ah, my voice cracked a little. Can I jump this? I did. Crushed it. So we have a few. Let's see. Tingle's chart. His home and a ferry down there. But where we're going is Outset Island. So that means there's a ferry there. Interesting. And let's open the beetle. And then there's the ultimate beetle right there. So we could take a quick stop since we're just doing quests until we get the pearl. I think this pearl is the easiest one to get, so we might as well fill this with stuff we do in. So I need to take a hard right, like right there. Yep, and then just go forward to... But aren't we on a time limit? I suppose we are, but, you know, tit for tat. to see what this beetle guy is doing. Oh, and we have a fishy friend. So, we gotta double up on that. Okay, we're making our way downtown. Walk well, not really walking, but... You know, uh, sailing fast. Ooh. Come over here, fishy. Talk to me. What do we got? Okay. Oh, 
it's small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. Then start by opening up your seed chart. Beware the night when the crescent moon faces up. That's all I can tell you, small fry. Okay. We'll remember that, I guess. As we go on our way to the beetle, because that was windfall. So I think the special beetle shop is over here. I'm gonna have to... Okay. Yeah, I've heard. All right. Information. that inside the ring of the rock that makes up the perimeter of the island, it lives an incredibly beautiful fairy. Okay, so we have to take uh, yeah. Oh, nope. Foolish creature who does not fear the gods to the end of the sea with you. Let the winds of Cyclos' wrath blow you away. <laughs> what the heck was I? Uh, how far do we go off track? Link, are you all right? It would seem that the wind god Cyclos bears some ill will towards humans. As uh, you go forward, it would be wise to try not to get sucked up by any cyclones. Ah, but if only we could find a way to harness the power of those cyclones. True. All right, so we need, oh, well. This helps. Let's come up here for a second. He may have just put us where we need to go. And then some. So let's set that. Go kaboom. of the wind, so allow me to aid you in your quest. <gasps> this great fairy has an interesting design, I ain't even gonna lie. Ooh! A 60 bombs! Damn! Alright, thank you, girl! Look at you! It looks 
looks so sad. All right, now, where were we? Oh, yes, we just visited the ferry. She gave us 60 bombs. Dang, that's nice of her. So... We gotta go... Is this the way? Yeah. So I'm guessing I need arrows to fight Cyclos, since bombs didn't seem to really be doing anything to him. They seem to be tickling him more than anything. Yep. There's a few of those. Another cyclone, huh? Well, until we get what we need, we're not going near you. Oh, but you have a beetle shot. Okay, we go near beetle. So arrows are what we next need. Okay. Um, something on fire on this island. We should probably check out. I can't do anything on this island either. Oh, and then there's a dying tree. Okay, cool. So we gotta wait. We'll come back. Alright, so where were we? Oh, yeah, we need to go around this island. All right, and there we go. Directly ahead should lead us home. Made it. Have you noticed Link Morning is not broke since we arrived at Great Fish Island? The land 
that was so ravaged by monsters, it's as if time itself is frozen. Perhaps this is the curse that Filu spoke of. Whatever the reason, if this night does not end, then we need not worry about the pirates overtaking us. In fact, it might not be a bad idea for you to visit your hometown and family again after such a long time away. So basically, speak to the grandma. Got it. Or the mother. Grandma all alone. <laughs> yep, it's Grandma. Yep. Let's talk to Orca. Did you not tell me about Aurel? That was thoughtless of you. This island has been seen hard times ever since you've departed. Mm, I do not know what you have been doing on your journey, but you seem a little more daring these days. That look in your eyes is not the one uh, you left here with. Very good. Show me just how much you've improved your sword skills. Okay. If I must say so, your skills with the sword are still at the level of a page. Very good. Try to hit me a hundred times or more before I hit you three times. BS. Enough! Well dang. 43 blows. Huh? Remember, though you may grow in strength, others will grow in strength as well. You may come here to practice as often as you like. We'll always be happy to face off against you. Alright, sweet. So we took him on, so... Now that that's all done. Let's pop back on the King of Red Lions. Yep. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Got part of it broken. Got 
get the second broken. There we go, we got it all. Indeed, Jebelin, I am pleased to see that you are safe. Yes, the same skin in his return, there can be no other explanation. Unfortunately, that is not so. The one I have brought with me has no connection to the legendary one. And yet I sense a great promise in the courage that this one possesses. I do, it is the only way. You got Nehru's Pearl. The water spirit Jabun was kind enough to give you the stool, a treasure of one of the goddesses. So that foul rain and endless night were indeed elements of a curse brought on us by Ganon. He must intend to cast this land into pure darkness for all time. I believe I have. Ganon's curse has been broken by the power of the pearl that Jabun gave us, so morning should come soon. It is well that we have gathered all the pearls. Are you ready, Link? I have marked the places where you must place the pearls on your sea chart. Once you place the, each of the pearls in its proper location, the proving grounds for your courage will become apparent. Clearly, the search for Jabun has shown that Ganon has begun to make efforts to block our path forward. It is certain that the perils ahead will be greater than any you have faced thus far. You should finish any business you have here on Outset right now, so that you shall not have any regrets later. No, I think I'm good right now. But, as always, thank you guys for joining. And remember, whenever there is a meeting, a parting is sure to follow. However, that parting need not last forever. Whether the parting is forever or a short time, that is up to you. And with that, we plan to keep our parting short, as you've seen, and we will see you in the next one. <laughs>